Hello all, it's Melinda. I wanted to share with you my April Mind the Scrap kit that I got. Mind the Scrap is a group of ladies from mainly Europe and they put together a scrapbook kit once a month. This is the first time I've ever gotten this. I got the main kit and I also got the mixed media kit and you got, this is a Vicki Booten stencil. They come in a three pack, but in the kit you got one of this three. Uh, iridescent glaze by Vicki Booten and a blending sponge. And for the kit, you got three flare badges made by Di Wilcox, I believe. She's part of the group. Heidi Swap Acetate Words. You get eight. I've already used one, so I think I can. Beautiful, smart, lucky, fresh, fancy, and shine. And then the one I used was fabulous. And you also get a sheet of butterflies that have a bend in them so you can fold them and make them dimensional. And they are from One Canoe Two. It's their Globe Gallery. It's an American craft product. And then you get one, two, three, four, five papers. This is American Crafts Amy Tan out on a, out on a whim. It, on a whim, sorry. Think pink. And that's the back side. Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams. This is lovely. And that's the back side. It's minty. Cray Paper Oasis. This is Escapade. I'm sorry, Getaway. Getaway. And that's the back side. Weekend, weekend, weekend. Another um, Cray Paper Oasis, and this is Postcard, and that's the back side. And Pink Paisley, Page Evan, this is Paper 18, and that's the back side of that. You get a vellum, and I've taken the wrapper off, I'm not sure who the vellum's by, but it is gold with stars, and a white card stock, a... Teal. Does it have a color? A Capri C. Capri C is the color and a black from Basil. Um, I'm going to use this to create a layout with this photo. Another one of my daughter's senior photos. I'm going to do a, something with mixed media. So I'm going to do this with a stencil, but I'm not going to use this stencil. I have a heart stencil that I want to use that I think will work. Um, and I may do some splatter and whatnot. We're going to find out. I'm not even sure what my plan is. So this one's going to fly by the seat of my pants kind of thing. So I will stick you on fast forward and you can see this process. Thank you. I started out with this Dilusions heart stencil. Um, I was undecided on how I was going to use this. But I knew I wanted to do, you know, half a page and put maybe some stripes on the side. So um, this is going to be more than half. Isn't that look gorgeous? It is so creamy and shiny. I'm just going to tape it down so it doesn't move. Um, this is just a very creamy, buttery consistency of almost like hand lotion. I think maybe most of them are. But the iridescence is gorgeous. This can be mixed with many things, gelatos and inks and sprays and watercolors, I believe. Um, I will have to try that next. I've seen many samples from ladies in the, in the group that have mixed it with stuff and it just is beautiful. I was kind of lame and just used it straight on. First time I've ever used a product like this. Normally I just use texture paste. Um, this did end up drying overnight just because I was busy and didn't have time to 
scrapbook after it was dry. I'm being very careful at the edges so that I don't do any hearts that go off the page. I'm going to take off the excess. Now I do have some spots I notice when I take it off that are lighter than others with, with the product, but in the end it all works out. I'm just going to take it off with a big reveal. Mm, Ta-da! Even wet, it's really shimmery. And now we are 24 hours later. Um, I somehow ended up killing the video that I, where I cut these. So I backed the photo with the darker paper, and I'm got a small strip of that black florally paper, and I'm going to be um, using the border punch. And that strip, the minty green with the words, is about a four inch strip. I'm going to get some tissue paper, some gold fleck tissue paper I got at Marshall's. And I'm basically going to cut a strip of it and then glue it to a piece of a strip of paper so that I can ruffle it. It's about a one inch strip, give or take. And I'm just going to cut a piece of scrap paper and stick some adhesive down on it and then just hand ruffle it. Now it's going to go between the green paper and the black floral paper. I think I sped this up quite a bit because it's a little time consuming, a little boring to watch, but I wanted to keep it in there so you could see exactly what I did. Just basically folding it and sticking it into the little adhesive strip that I got. It's not even, it's not even level, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to add a second piece because this piece wasn't long enough. And this is basically, I'm just doing this just so that it adds a little bit of gold because the word strip I'm going to use, the word from Heidi Swap that I'm going to use is, is gold. I needed to add some gold, more gold to it. I am going to sew this on, so I'm going to put a, just a little bit of adhesive on it so that it is attached, but yet not too, too much to gum up my machine. I'm just going to tuck that in so it just peeks out, and I'm going to put this underneath that. And I'm going to go sew it, and I'll be back. I'm cut the extra threads. I'm going to ruffle it up just a touch. I'm unsure how I'm going to put the photo on and where. It ends up staying just about right there. Now, I'm using... Mr. Huey's Color Mist in watercolor and Dilution's White to kind of make it a little less dark. See how green it is there? Um, the Dilution's is just going to lighten it up. I kind of want it to look like the darker green in, in the script paper. And I'm just going to use the packing technique and kind of smoosh it on. Um, there are points when I do this and I start to regret it because right there it's really dark and it's really in a clump but I realize most of it's going to be covered up by the photo so don't panic. I do sprinkle it with some gold Heidi Swap Color Shine and for some reason I didn't catch this on video but I did stick the extra um, packaging ink on the green side 
it went through I think a little bit but yeah right here yeah I don't know what happened but I stuck I smushed it up over there just to make it I don't know modelly looking I'm choosing the word beautiful I'm debating on whether it's like nope I really like it there I tried this butterfly multiple times it doesn't end up on the layout but I really wanted to use the butterfly but I just couldn't figure out how to make it work another layout now I am going to use this flare, flare badge but it's not the one from the kit it's just one I had sitting on my desk that I've tried on a couple other layouts recently this is where I'm going to flick it with the gold and I'm running out of paper towel so I have one little piece in my in my scrap room I gotta get another roll now the one thing that I forgot to tell you that was in the kit are Heidi swap um, letters they're right there um, they're supposed to be cream they don't look cream to me they look a little bit like a bluish white I'm going to write the word start so the title is going to be beautiful start to senior year and the senior year is going to be in a Teresa Collins tile sticker font from Joann's now I'm going to end up putting these down with hot glue I was thinking about stitching them but I kind of forgot once I got moving and I'm going to do the same thing I always do I wrote I wrote everything down all the letters that were in there and I'm just going to cross them off and I stick that back in the container that's just so I don't go digging for letters that I used it's kind of annoying when you want to make a word and you look for an E and you've used them all already just gonna do this start backwards I wrote it down so I could look at it to make sure I wasn't spelling it improperly them kind of making them go up and down a little bit so they're not perfect that's gonna go basically right there under the start I'm gonna stack the title on top of itself getting the hot glue gun out I've never used my hot glue gun so much other than um, since I started doing videos I've try, I tried thought maybe I could bring some more gold with that that was on my desk it was um, a gold frame vellum but nope I quickly I'm realizing I need to put my small bit of journaling somewhere so I'm gonna grab a label and the top one happened to be that green color so that's gonna work that is from a paper pad I believe it's from documentary but I could be wrong it was full of labels and I just cut them all up I'm gonna shop this around I really just don't know where to put it I think I want it to go on the green side I try it over on the photo that's a possibility but nope straight across nope that's where it ends up staying I guess I kind of wanted it just to be out of out of the way and not be pulling away from the photo couple little dabs of hot glue nothing major I'm just gonna hot glue those down tuck the T under the bottom part of the F they're hard to see on the video I think but you can see these letters more in person just gonna set those right underneath there now I'm thinking I need to spread the gold around so I'm going to use two gold labels one at the top just for color nothing's gonna go on it and one next to the senior photo thing so it, I can put the date the photos were taken now the one I choose I end up sticking it on the glass mat and I stamp it and it's the wrong year so I have to peel it off it's ruined I can't fix that so when I go to peel it off it sticks to the glass mat that was kind of annoying I spent a little bit of time scraping it off with my blade 
So I pick a different label and I change the year so it's accurate. And that goes right there. And I stick another one up there just so I can bring the gold up there. I'm going to write the journaling really quick. And it just says, Senior Photo Shoot, Bay City, Wonderful Time. I've um, scrapped out quite a few of her senior photos. And I've talked about the shoot and all different kinds of things. So I didn't really think this needed much journaling. I'm going to put two blobs of zots. They're the really dimensional ones. And I believe I'm, then I'm going to use hot glue. And I get it all over my fingers. Yep. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, hot, hot. <laughs> I hate hot glue. I made a mess with it. So I'm cleaning that up. And I'm realizing, you know what, that's not sticking. And we're going to stick some foam tape underneath of it. A little bit of hot glue. When I bend it, it kind of wanted to pop up. I think I'm just about done. Oh, I'm going to sprinkle some white. Though I don't let it dry because I was going to flip it over and I bought most of it up. It's a bad habit I have. I really should stop doing that. All the glue strings. Try that butterfly one last time. <laughs> I will use them, just not on this one. I really like how it shimmers in the light. I'm going to check the number it needs to be. Flip it over. Ends up being layout 57. Process video 7 I put. PV number 7. There will be some close-ups still shots at the end. I want to thank you all for watching. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.